Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I, I reinstated the nether portal because I wanted to come in here and I did actually get a silk touch pick. So I decided that it was probably a good idea to come in here and get some glowstone, which I, I've been doing. I've got a bunch of glowstone now and ooh, ooh, I'm getting one of these guys. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that. All those magma cubes everywhere. Or magma, magma creams. Four of them. Where'd they go? There they are. Oh, that looks good. Um, so I was walking along and I found this. So hopefully that will be, um, hooked up to some, yep, that. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, I'm a little afraid. <coughs> But, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's hope that they, they're in a, a nice, contained, confined area. <laughs> Hopefully. I really hope they are, because if not, then that's going to be really unfortunate. Because we may... Oh, hi there! Hi! How's it going? Oh, look at all the blaze rods. There's blaze rods everywhere. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, well, this is looking pretty good. <clears throat> I can work with this. Oh, where are you? Hey there. Uh, ow, how did he hit me? Ow, stop it! I got one. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I need to fill in this area down here because they can spawn down here. And I don't want that happening. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Um, let's just throw torches everywhere <laughs> in an attempt to slow them down a little bit. Because I know it's hard to stop them from spawning, but it's it should help slow it down a little bit. I'm hope <clears throat> I'm hoping. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. Um, that's not good. Got a bunch of blaze rods, which is really good. Oh hey, and I forgot that I did the blaze rod texture. Okay, let's just, uh, fill in this, wall that off there. Okay, they are, well, not trapped, I guess, but they're, they're in there, and this would be the only way out for them. Which is now, see oh, of course, right through the hole, okay. That's the only way for them to get out, and it is now sealed off, so that's good. Um, this is just so I can have more torches to throw down on the ground if I ever decide to uh, wander around some more, because I use torches as my breadcrumbs. Um, so that if... Ow! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I'm on fire. That's not cool. Okay, let's break that down. Start filling in this top row here. The goal for right now is to stop them from spawning entirely. Um, and that way I can come back in. And of course, blazes are hard to stop from spawning. So, um, because they can spawn in a lot of light level, in a really high light level. So, we are going to attempt to um, cover up their entire spawner so that it just can't spawn anywhere nearby. Um, and that'll be the, the best, the quickest way, at the very least, to seal them off. And ensure that they don't mess with us some more. Um, I need more blocks than that. Okay. Back up here. Okay, let's get in here and cover up this area. Oh, boy. Hi. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Fortunately, blaze fire doesn't actually last all that long. So, you don't really have to worry about that too much. Okay. Um, almost, almost done. I guess. We've got... Hi, hi, buddy. Hey there. They're spawning one at a time now, it looks like. Which is good. That's good for us. Um... I'm I'm kind of, I'm really glad that this was encased because if it wasn't encased then it would have been super difficult to fill up this whole area. But it's all just like naturally encased in netherrack, so nothing to worry about there. 
Um, I've enchanted several things. I'm actually wearing a di uh, Protection 4 Diamond Chestplate, and I've got my Silk Touch pick, and I, this is an additional efficiency for Unbreaking pick, because I wanted to leave my Fortune 1 back in the house. Because just in case I died, I didn't want to have it here with me. I mean, I needed the Silk Touch one for the, um, for the Glowstone, but, so I couldn't really just leave that home. But this one, I could definitely... Or the, the fortune one, I can definitely leave home. It does me nothing. It does me no good in the nether. So, ow! Okay, dude. You're just annoying me now. Okay. Oop, that's an empty hole. Is there a spot behind there? No, okay. That's good. Okay, that should block off all spots that they can spawn for now. Um. Oh, except for this spot right here, actually. Um. Okay, I, I want these blocks. Uh, that was that was a bad idea, though, doing that. But I want these torches back. Hey there. Hi. That's thank you. That was nice of you. Um. Okay. And let's see. Where's the spawner? The spawner is right here. So we have one, two, three, four, and. Five. Okay, so if I cover up this... Oh, need one more block. Uh, actually, no, oh, that probably undid it. There we go. Now they shouldn't be able to spawn, I don't think. Which is good. Um, so we have a bunch of place rods. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead over here. And that sounds like a blaze nearby. Maybe it's just fire. No, it's just fire. We've got to find some nether wart. Because we can't make potions without the nether wart, and we want to make potions. Really, really bad. Hey, buddy. Wait, is there another one? Oh, there's two. Hi. They can't break this brick, so we're safe up here. Where'd they go? I'd like to kill them, but... Oh, well. Moving on. Some glowstone at the end of the little thingy here. Oh, another blaze spawner. That's nice. Um, even more in case than the first one was. But this one uh, is farther away, so we probably won't use it as a as a blaze farm. If we get if we get two right next to each other, that'd be awesome. But uh, it's not likely. So yeah, yeah. Just die. I don't see any um, <coughs> tears falling from that guy. Although the tears probably won't be very useful to me. I don't really care for them. Um, I never make regen potions anyway. That can't be right. There's got to be more here. Are there blazes around, or is that just fire? That's blazes. Where? Oh, hi, buddy. Oops. Come on. Here we go. Where did he come from? That's a lot of lava. I'm worried where he came from. Where did we come from? <laughs> I don't know. Alrighty. Um, ooh. I want to kill as many of these guys as I can. Because I want magma, magma cream. And the easiest way is to get, is get it from these guys. So I don't have to use up all of my slime balls. Uh, but if I do have to use up some slime balls to make magma cream. Then you know that's totally worth it. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, here we go. Or have I been here? No? No, I haven't been here. Um, sounds like there's blazes around. What's up here? Nope. Oh, magma cube? Nope. Not quite. What's this way? Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Look at that. Um, let's see. This way was the way we came. Let's head out this way. Oh, there's another blaze up there. I don't want to mess with him at close range, so let's just... Or not? Okay. I guess I just kill him from here, but he seems to have, uh thrown away far enough that I can't. Where is he? Hi, buddy. No, just die. Okay. That's good. That's dangerous. I don't like that. Um, this place is, ow, looking promising for nether wart. There's a bunch of different, yeah, nether wart. There we go. There we go. The room just lit up on me. Oh, wow. Two things in nether wart. Fantastic. So let's take all this and get out my shovel. 
Oh, that's not a shovel. And grab some uh, soul sand. Get out of here. Grab all of this. I haven't actually found all that much soul sand. Um, so, I do want to grab as much of this as I can. Let's see, anything interesting back here? Doesn't look like it. I don't feel like walking down that really long hallway for no reason. Okay, we. Ooh, another magma cube. Come here. Come here, buddy. Thanks, but you didn't drop anything. I guess these guys don't drop stuff often, do they? Oh well. Maybe that one was fully grown. That's nice. How many do we have? 32. Nice, nice. We can start making potions. The main reason why I wanted to come to the nether now is because I have fixed up my spider spawner, and it's working beautifully. Um, I hooked up lights to it and everything, which I'll show you guys before the, before the end of the episode. Um, so I can turn it off, and it works great. Um, I think last episode I showed you guys where I... Um, I changed this that I just stand up top now, and they all just pour down into the thing, and then I run down and kill them all. I wanted to put a thing, because for some reason, when, when they're down at the bottom, um, when I get down to the bottom, they go flying out. Like, they all pile up in the little tunnel, and then I go down there, and when they start tracking me, for some reason, some of them just get launched out. Like, a good 20 or 30 of them get launched out. I mean, of course, there's incredible rates on that thing, so... oh. That's, uh, some... Oh, hey, look, soul sand. Oh, well, we're down here now. Might as well grab it. Um. Oh, man, this is slow. Mm, so slow. Okay. Maybe if we can... Get it from the side here? No? All right. Um, there we go. But, yeah, uh, so the, the rates are really good. Um, I can just stand up at the top, and they spawn like crazy and within like 20 minutes I can get 200 spiders down there. And then like 20 pop out from me getting near, which I don't really know why. I tried to make it so that I could press a button up top and they would get blocked off so they couldn't come flying out. But then it just made killing them really slow for some reason. Um, like, I don't know if it was just that they weren't taking as much damage for whatever reason, so some of them were still alive for a long time, or maybe it was just because I could only hit one at a time. Like, with, with, a, with a bunch... Blah, blah. When you have a bunch of mobs all in one small area, um, when you hit one, usually you're gonna hit whichever one's in front, and like that's you know how you how the game decides which one gets hit is whichever one's in front, and um, and is that the blaze spawner I I blocked off? I think it is. Where did I come from? Uh, this way I think. Oh, well, there's some experience. So that's cool. Um. So when you hit a mob, it, it dies, but its body stays there, and you can still hit its body um, and until it, it disappears. And that that's not good, because it will the body will stay there, and you'll be hitting the dead body, and the rest of the, thing, the, rest of the mobs will just stay there and be fine until that body disappears. So that means you have to go two, three seconds between actually killing them. But if it's not blocked off, then they just... Um, how the heck did you get in here, man? Seriously. Um. Where did I come from? Oh god, guys, I'm gonna get lost in here. Okay, I came from this direction. And in turn, I believe I came from over here. Dude, stop it. Just go away. I don't know where they're coming from. They're all over the place. Yeah, here we are. Okay, I know where I'm going now. I've got torches. This is why torches are good in the nether. I mean, they're useless for actually stopping things from spawning, but... Okay, there's gotta be a spawner around here somewhere that I'm just missing. Because they're spawning like crazy. Hey, buddy. Don't hit the pig man. That'd be bad. I'm not jumping over that gap. Not with all these holes everywhere. Oh, boy. Seriously, though, where the heck are they spawning? Oh, that was weird. I don't know. I don't know where they're coming from. Maybe they spawn in the nether a lot more frequently than I expected? <laughs> Alright. Um. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. I would go and I'd punch the spiders, and one would die, and then it would stay there. And its body would block me from getting all the other ones. Okay, I'm lost again. <laughs> um. And...
And, uh... Yeah, I didn't come from this way. I came from... came from this way. I think. Didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, here we are. Oh, are they spawning on the outside of that room that I just made for him? They might be. He can't see me, even though I'm shooting him in the butt. Um... Let's see, we've got one, two... Or, one, two... Three, four, five. Yeah, they're probably still spawning on the outside of that. Okay, let's grab some. Oh. Let's grab some nether rack real quick. Okay. And head on over here. Oh, that's where I came up. Pluck that off. I don't know why there's a hole there. I don't think it actually has any effect, does it? So okay, so we go to start. Oh, I got the starting point right. I just didn't go out far enough. I don't think. Okay, let's see those over there. Am I safe to drop? Yeah. All right, and let's go one more, just in case. I don't want them spawning just by accident <laughs> anywhere. That'd be bad. I mean, I'm assuming if they were going to spawn, they would have spawned already. That should be good, I think. I'm taking this wall out, because it's easy to reach blocks. So, yeah. You know, I probably only have to alternate this. No need to put fill in every block. <coughs> Block. My voice just cracked. Anyway. Alright, so that's good. We've got what we came for nether wart and a bunch of other stuff so once I find how I got down here or over here or something how did I get no this isn't where I came in I came in over here no that doesn't sound right uh, oh okay right there gotcha I got this I know what's going on Oh, I broke my way up. Let's stick a bunch of torches there. I gotta make sure that I know the way out next time. <laughs> now, how did I get here? Uh, this way, I believe. Gotta make sure you leave breadcrumbs for yourself. Um, uh, did I ever finish that sentence that I was talking about the spiders? Okay, I'll finish it this time, I swear. Um... The, the spiders died, and their bodies would stay there, and it would stop me because I was holding all their bodies in place. But when I didn't, like, lock it down, um, when I punched them, their bodies would just go flying. So it was all... Whoa! Man! I just got sent flying. Um, but yeah, their bodies would, would just fly out the back. Which, I mean, wasn't helping with the whole things were messing up for me. Like, the, the spiders were flying out for no apparent reason. But... Um, it did mean that I was able to kill them really quickly. So it's all right that some of them go flying out to me because it means that I get a lot more. Um, it I can it, gather the experience a lot faster, like way faster, like good five times faster. Um, because every punch hits something because the body just flies away as soon as it's dead, um, which works really well. But I think I've got enough glowstone, so I'm just going to run back, and then I'll show you guys the stuff at the spawner, and I guess that'll be the end of the episode. Oop. Alrighty, here we are. So, I've been standing here for a little bit, and I made some potions when I went back, so we could throw at these guys. And, uh, you can see they're spawning down there. I actually covered up the, the underneath of that with wool, because I was bored. So, yeah. I just flipped this switch, and there's lights ringing the entire thing. I know I didn't have to put them all the way around, but I was trying to do the, like, I was doing it in paint to see how I could position them so that they would cover up everything. Um, and without putting one, like, in the middle up on top or something. And uh, I was going to put one on either side, like, right in the middle of the walls, and then three on one side and two on the other side. But there would have been a small amount of space on the bottom in, like, an M shape that um, would have been spawnable area so unfortunately I had to I just I just decided it would be much easier to do that oh the noise right let's uh let's just turn it down to like one percent 
because that's that's kind of obnoxiously loud. And now this will be the first time that I've used potions to kill these guys. So, uh, oh, one's going off. So, yeah, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of lag right there. That is a lot of lag. All right. I can't see anything. So, yeah, well, we still got a few spiders left. So let's just start punching. Oh. Let's start stabbing instead. Because they didn't seem to be dying. This is the easiest way I've found to see the the spiders underneath. <laughs> it's like if you're if you're swinging down at them. That looks weird. Okay. Yeah, all right. You done now? No. No, still going. All right. Um. Okay. Grab all this stuff. All right. Yep. That's uh. Yeah. <laughs> Is this gonna end anytime soon? Okay. All right then. Oh, actually, you know, I might be able to. Now that I've got potions, I might actually be able to put in that little thing that I talked about, because I just had a lever on the opposite side here that went down um, all the way down and just extended some pistons. But since they weren't dying, I, you know, I decided it was probably a bad idea to keep that there. Uh, but, you know, I might actually put that back. I don't know, maybe not. It, it would be kind of annoying to go back down and do it again, so probably not. But, oh well. But yeah, so that's, that's how this is working. And I get tons of string from it, which is good for wool, so. Oh, and I, I realized I didn't actually have any melons to make healing potions, which I would then use spider or, uh, fermented spider eyes on to turn into damage potions, but I looked it up, and apparently you can turn, uh, poison potions into instant harming potions with the, uh, fermented spider eyes as well. So, that's pretty cool. So I have a good use for all of these spider eyes that I'm getting from this place. Um... In, in killing them again. I mean, it's fortunate because if these were skeletons or zombies, like, and you'd, like, you'd find a normal spider, I mean, a normal spawner, or, uh, I mean, I guess it could be other spiders too, but the other spi spiders are hard to work with. I'm glad I managed to get these working just fine. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, what's it talking about? <laughs> Um, right, if these were other mobs, then, like, zombies or skeletons, I would have to use healing potions to damage them, because the, the harming potions just don't do anything, and that would have sucked. Also, I wouldn't have had the spider eyes necessary to actually, um, oh, well, I wouldn't need spider eyes in that case, so never mind. But, yeah, so I would have to go find melons, I don't think I've actually found a, <clears throat> oh, actually, that's not true. I did find a thing. Do I have melon seeds? Let's go check that out before we finish the episode. Because I know I, I found a... A thing. Because it's, it's... Obviously I found a... Um, man, I totally forgot about that. Obviously I found an uh, abandoned mine shaft. That's what the spiders are spawning in. And there were chests, like, right by it, too. Because um, I ended up digging through to the, the thing when I was putting the lights around. The mine shaft. So... I did see a few chests lying around, and I know I've looted them all, so... Uh, maybe I've got the stuff lying around back in the house. Oh, also, this looting sword is about to break. I need to enchant a new one, which is probably what these these levels that I've got now will go into. Um, although I'll probably put more levels than that into it. I'm probably going to go for, a, like, a good level 40 enchantment. 48. 48. I've been going 48, because it works a lot faster now. But anyway, the looting works on cows with their meat. So I can go down there and kill, like, five cows and get, like, 15 pieces of steak. So, it works pretty well. Um, what was I here for? Alright, I wanted to see if I had the plants. That's... Uh, I guess not, because the seeds would be in here if they were going to be anywhere. So, I'll have, to go, I'll have to go back down there and try to find more... Try to find some melon seeds. But yeah, you know, I, I really like how these lights work been pretty useful. I haven't had anything to smelt lately because I've got so much iron and stuff, but I do need to go look for more diamond because I'm using up all the diamond that I have. Um, so far, I've only managed to get find two diamond 
ore blocks with the um, it, that I could use my uh, fortune pick on, and that got me a total of six diamonds. So it did work on both of them, which is really good. But yeah, so this is how many diamonds I've got, and I've got more than a stack of iron blocks and everything, so that's that's good. Um, I've got a bunch of gold. I mean, not a lot of gold, but enough, I'd say. You know, that's that's how that stuff is. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll probably be doing something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll probably I want to make a wheat farm, like an actual wheat farm. But I don't really know how or where I'm going to do that. So, yeah. We're going to have to plan something out for that. Maybe I'll make a cow farm next, actually. Because I need... That's that's where I want most of my food from, is from the cows. And... Based on what e BWO and Etho are doing, um, I've, I think I've got a good way to set up a cow breeding area and a cow killing area and stuff, so that should be pretty nice. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. I don't know. No promises, though. Because, you know, I can never really stick to what I'm doing, so. For all I know, next episode I might just be, like, building a castle. Probably not, but it could happen. <laughs> or maybe building, um... Oh, maybe I could build a castle and then... Oh, that's right. I was brewing my stuff. Maybe I could build a castle, like a giant castle, and that's where I could have all my villagers live. Inside the castle. That way all the walls would be safe and everything. That'd be pretty neat. Probably not going to happen, though. But still. Um, anyway. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!